Hello from Seoul. I think most people are missing out on the greatest noodle dish in history. What? You've had it before? I'm not talking about instant yakisoba noodles or takeout. I'm talking about the best yakisoba noodles that will change your life. Today, we're gonna be making yakisoba, one of the most popular Japanese dishes of all time. This is a super simple stir-fried noodle dish that represents Japanese street food, so you can almost find it everywhere on the streets of Japan. But just because it's simple, that doesn't mean it's not great. Once you slurp these noodles, you will find yourself making this dish over and over again. I guarantee it. For this, you will need some pork, cabbage, onion, carrot, mushrooms, garlic, green onions, ginger, and noodles. Here, some of you might say, Aaron, you said it's simple. Why does it need so many? Well, these are for the best result, but you can still make it with only a few ingredients, like onion, cabbage, and noodles. So feel free to adjust it depending on your situation. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fantastic. First, cut 200 grams of pork belly into nice bite-sized pieces. I'm using pork for my protein, but you could also use any protein you like. Chicken, shrimp, tofu, or even no protein at all. Everything will turn out fantastic. So pick your favorite and make it your own version. By the way, if you decide to go for pork, but it's hard to get this kind of thinly sliced one, then get yourself a thick cut of pork belly, freeze it until it gets firm, and just thinly slice it. No problem at all. Next, take two cabbage leaves and cut them into bite-sized pieces. I think the real star of this dish is this bad boy. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people agree that this is the most delicious way to eat cabbage. So if you have some cabbage sitting in your fridge, please give this a try. A whole head of cabbage will disappear in no time. Now thinly slice half an onion. And once that's done, julienne some carrots. Compared to other vegetables, it takes longer to cook, so make sure it's nice and thin. Otherwise, you might have to eat raw carrots at the end. This time, take 3 or 4 white button mushrooms and just thinly slice them. If you prefer a more chewy texture, shiitake mushrooms would be a good option too. But since I had these in my fridge, I'm just gonna use them. Now let's prepare the holy trinity, ginger, garlic, and green onions. Actually, to make yakisoba, we don't have to use all these aromatics, but you guys already know that aromatic oil with these bad boys will bring it to the next level, right? Just like Tokyo Treat and Sakuraku bring joy to your doorstep. Tokyo Treat is a monthly snack subscription box straight from Japan. It's filled with up to 20 of the latest and most exclusive snacks and drinks that are only available in Japan. For example, if you open the box, you can see some limited edition or seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. And this month's theme is Okinawa Snacking Oasis, where you can experience the best Japanese flavors and Okinawan snacks like Kit Kat Cookies and Cream, Okinawa Sea Salt Donut, Every Sour Cream and Onion Chips, Shikuwasa soda, and many more. You're looking for some traditional snacks? Don't worry about it. With Sakurako, you will get local and authentic Japanese snacks from artisan snake makers, including Japanese kromame tea and one special Japanese towel, Neko Tenugui. And this month's theme is Festival of Tohoku, where you can find delightful snacks from Tohoku like peachy cognac jelly, walnut mochi, peanut senbei cookie, and many more. What? You're kind of worried about getting local snacks because of the language, ingredients, or allergens? Don't worry about it. Tokyo Treat and Sakuraku provide a booklet in the box. It contains all the information about the snacks, snake makers, and even interesting cultural stories about Japan. If you're interested in experiencing Japan for yourself, go to the link in my description and use my code ANC. You will get $5 off your first order. You want to experience real Japan, whatever you are. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako will be with you. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Alright, thinly slice some white parts of the green onions, and then cut the green parts into long strips. Once that's done, finely chop two cloves of garlic, and grate a small knob of ginger. We're gonna need about one teaspoon. Alright, the veg prep is done now. Let's move on to the sauce. 
Here, you could just use some store-bought sauce, but it's actually quite easy to make and they'll be absolutely more delicious. So let's make our own yakisoba sauce. To a small container, add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of ketchup, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, 1 tablespoon of mirin, and give it a good mix. So simple, right? There's no reason not to try making it at home. For information, we have all the instructions and a list of ingredients on our blog, everythingclair.com. So please visit here if you need a written recipe. This time, let's prepare the noodles. I've got two servings of yakisoba noodles here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dunk them in some hot water and gently stir them around so that the noodles can separate. Here, some of you might say, Aaron, you don't need to do that. You can just put them straight into a pan and start stir frying. Yes, you're right. But if you just throw them into a pan, the noodles won't easily separate, and they will break down into little pieces, just like macaroni. So even though they say you can use it right away, please prepare the noodles before you throw them into the pan. Trust me, this little detail will make your dish so much better. Alright, the noodles are separated. Let's take them out and give them a quick rinse. And then to prevent the noodles from sticking, let's coat the noodles with 1 teaspoon of neutral oil. By the way, if you can find these noodles, you could also try spaghetti noodles. Don't worry about it. I use it all the time and that works great. Alright, get yourself a wok or pan. Add half a tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add the pork belly in a single layer and cook for about 2 minutes. Once the pork is no longer pink and you've got some beautiful fat from the pork, add the white parts of the green onions, garlic, ginger, and let all the good flavors infuse for about 1 minute. Once your kitchen is filled with the aroma, throw in your cabbage, onions, carrots, and give them a few stirs. And then keep adding mushrooms, the rest of the green onions, a pinch of salt, some black pepper, and just stir fry them for about 3 minutes. I know it's really hard to resist this delicious smell, but please hang in there. If you resist just a few more minutes, you're gonna have the best Japanese noodle dish that you dreamed of. Once the veggies soften up a little bit, remove from the wok and set them aside. Now in the same wok, add half a tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium-high heat. Once it's heated, place the noodles and spread them out and let them sit for about 2 minutes. Once the noodles are browned and crisp up a little bit, flip and gently separate the noodles using tongs or chopsticks. Like I said earlier, please be careful not to make them into macaroni. Now, let's add half of the sauce and give them a toast for about 1 minute. If you add the sauce right to the noodles before you put the veggies in, trust me, it's gonna help the noodles absorb more of the sauce and it's gonna be so much more flavorful. So please try this technique, you will absolutely love it. When the noodles are beautifully coated in the sauce, add the vegetables and pork and the rest of the sauce. Now, all you need to do is just toss everything together for about 2 minutes. Couldn't be any easier, right? Alright, looks like it's done. Let's put some noodles in a serving bowl. And these are totally optional, but if you want to give it more authentic Japanese vibes, then top it with some bonito flakes, aonori seaweed, and pickled ginger. How does it look? It looks fantastic, right? You want to know how it tastes? Alright, let's go to our taste tester. Claire. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> 엄마 밥 먹을라 그랬는데 제제라다니. <웃음> Ooh, yakisoba. I'm super hungry. Let's give it a try. 면이 아직 따뜻해서 그런지 위에 있는 가스오브시가 춤을 춰주고 있어. 냄새 또 스포키한 게 너무 좋고. Ooh, 위에 있는 버섯이 너무 맛있어 보여. Cheers. 음. 음 맛있다. 밖에서 사 먹었을 때그 느낌처럼 맛있는 기름이 전체적으로 누드를 샥잘 코팅해 줘가지고 그 볶음면 느낌이 제대로 촥잘 살아. 맛있어. 이번엔 고기와 함께. 음 cheers. 음, 음 맛있어. 같이 느끼할 수 있는 그 삼겹살을. 케첩이라든지 워스터소 소스에 약간의 그 새콤한 맛이 있잖아. 그 녀석이 딱 밸런스를 맞춰준다. 삼겹살이랑 너무 잘 어울리는 것 같아. 그런 부분에서. 이 베니쇼가 한번 먹어보겠어. Cheers! 음! 
단순히 그냥 예쁘게만 하는 게 아니야. 진짜 약간 맛을 고급지게 만들어줘. 음. 솔직히 어렸을 때 나라면 절대 안 먹었을 것 같거든? 근데 먹으면 먹을수록 중독적으로 만들어주는 게 바로 이런 녀석들인 것 같아. 향긋하니 너무 좋다. 음. <laughs> Today I showed you how to make yakisoba, one of the most popular Japanese noodle dishes in history. This amazing dish doesn't even need a lot of ingredients and it only takes 15 minutes to make. Can you believe that? Then what are you doing? Go grab your apron and try it. If you do, I'm pretty sure it'll become your new favorite wing night dinner. I guarantee it. Alright, this is it for today and I'll see you next time.